Okay, we'll make a start on this um, McCormick Deering regular engine today. And I think we've got you set up okay. Just so you can see what's going on. You don't need to see me really. Just what I'm up to. And we'll see what we can find. I've agreed to do this up for my mate, John Dudley. So we're just gonna work our way through it and see what we find. Probably should have had my little nut gun here, shouldn't I? But anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, we've got these two little fellas here. Oh, come on, there we go. sure about them what they do but anyway we'll find out everything from under the tappet cover will go back in okay we've got little felts there so where the where the oiler I'll take these little caps actually I'll pop these back on here just so we don't lose them we know where they go might be like a priming thing or something um, yeah, when you put oil in the little oil cups here, it catches in this little tray. And then there's little felt wick wipers and they run down to, through to the rocker gear. So that's a neat little way of doing it. Little bit of cocky pup here, nothing to worry about. Got a fair bit of valve lash there. Anyway, we'll find out what that is on the way back. Not worth, they're all the same here. Probably not worth worrying about just yet. We'll undo these little trays, or little oil trays. Looks like a 5.8. We'll do that easily enough. And they actually hold the rocket gear on. I can see the rocket gear coming up slightly. Interesting thing is between the two rocker shafts there's a spring. And that holds, <laughs> that holds this rocker on. That holds the rockers together there. So I think if you took the valve lash off, you could probably pop the rocker off. This, um, where the nut's gone down against it, it probably needs a washer. It's, it's squashed the tin down a little bit. There we go, that's your little oil tray. Yeah, and this, this one had a spacer. Okay, the spacers so the tappet cover bolts can come down and go tight against that. But this one really needs a washer there. Okay, everything from under the tappet cover goes in the tappet cover. Okay, I'm gonna go and get my little nut gun. Okay, went and got my little nut gun. Uh, 
That's a bit better. And you can see the little little tapers there for the rocker gear. You can see the where the felts go. And these look like they're just busting to fall off. They have bushes in there. That shaft's quite worn, but we can probably take up the wear there, no worries. But what we need to look at, where they've been sitting on the valves, pretty good. Not eaten in at all. Same, no real wear on the... These actually look like they've been radius to me. They, they feel like it. But anyway, will these fellas come out? Yes, they will. That's a fairly flat end. I'm not keeping these where they... We'll just make sure everything's right before we put it together. Yeah, you can see a tiny little tit where they've been turning. They all have it. Very dry in there. Dry and rusty a little bit. Anyway, not to worry. We'll sort all that out on the way home. Okay, looks like we have a water manifold. Yep, looks like a water manifold. And the exhaust manifold over the side here. So I might shift the camera around and we'll come and deal with some of this. All right, we've shifted the camera. We might just pop this water manifold off. We've got a big snap on breaker bar and big nut gun it's up on another job so not in the shed just at the moment once again this here is just a safety because the engine's so lopsided because we can only grab it around the crank around the crank area not halfway up the block where it'd be more balanced so We'll just go with it. These old girls probably got all the asbestos gaskets and all the good gear, I suppose. Wouldn't mind betting a couple of these are head studs. They're the same size as the head studs and they're in the right place to be head studs. There you go. One water manifold.
She's had some um, bore water often does things like that. And we have a free rock. So if you ever want something special, <laughs> put a rock in your cooling system. <laughs> Okay, we'll pop around this other side here and we'll pull the manifold off. There's another one. Dinosaur eggs. The proper rock. <laughs> I wonder, you never know, look, some of these jobs um, if it was on light work and they wanted it to get hot, I wonder would they have popped a... Oh shit, just, I'll just drop that one, eh? Um, yeah, if they wanted it to get hot, was it a thing that they'd pop a rock in there to restrict the flow? Slow the coolant down, no thermostats or anything? a heavy manifold with this big bit on the bottom there so I'll bring it down a little bit further yeah it's got this big muffler type thing on the bottom there so beautiful We've got heat rings around the exhaust here, but it looks. Oh, yeah, hard to say. All right, so it does look like these are head studs. Okay, before we get too carried away on the head here, we have spark plug wires to undo. I'm gonna leave the plug sitting in there for the time being. We'll get them out when the head's on the bench. It's marked one, two, three, four into the casting here. So we need to shift this oil gauge. Oh, that's nice. Come apart nicely. There's a little T piece down on the sump that that goes to. And now we'll pop that gauge out of the way so we don't wreck it. And we'll put these back in the holes. Stops them getting lost. And also, um, fills the holes up. But you're allowed to drop a couple of nuts and bolts if you like. Now we'll get the breaker bar onto these head studs. They don't feel very tight. What have we got, seven, eight? Yep, seven, eight. Pre-war, so it means a half 
well, 916 threads have the smaller or have the bigger head on them and in, in the war they standardized everything so a half inch UNF or a UNC had a three quarter socket on it or a spanner flat okay let's just see if this this has got, got to be the easiest bloody lift off I've done in ages I think We might, we might loosen the sand a bit and wind the handle. So I can get it low enough to lift it off. Mop a little bar under there, I think. We might put a bit more angle on him. Shit, that's heavy. Oh, you cut stainless washers off me bum. <laughs> okay. What do we have? This side up moves on correctly. Gaskets had like Hylomar or something like that put on it. Okay, we'll wind the engine back up to vertical. And this one here, number three, it's just got shitloads of rust in it. 